Hey everyone, I've got three tips here to help you create the best bass lines you can create. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. Comment down below. I've got a lot more tips and tricks like that um, that I keep putting out and you'll be notified as soon as they come out. And there are um, a lot of good information, a lot of tips on how to write good bass lines or, you know, um, just a lot of music, music resource center, you can say. So go ahead and subscribe and comment. Let me help me help you. And um, so today I'm going to give you three tips on how to write the best bass lines. But if you don't know me by now, I'm Donald Whitt, the bass instructor for the online course, I want to play bass.com. And um, you can check it out, visit. I've got some, um, become a free member. It's um, good stuff in there as well. And um, you can upgrade and get the full access to the online course and you know, reach your bass playing goals. So enough said, I will dig right into it. The um, top three tips for writing the best bass line number one is keep it simple because we're we're bassists you know we um yeah we see a lot of great bassists out there and you can become one too as well just you've got to start off simple you've got to you know you've got to fit in the groove and a lot of times that's just laying back that's what bass players do that's our priorities are lay back and lay down that that low end that bottom line so that's what we've got to start out doing. We've got to keep it simple and don't <coughs> don't play over our um, abilities. Just keep it simple and get the job done. That's that's our priority. Root notes, keep it um, keep it basic. Um, so you know you can add. You've got to get those. You've got to get those root notes in there first of all, and then and then just. You can add some color, some passing tones, some leading tones to get there, but keep it simple. Um, we don't, you don't want to, you know, overwhelm the arrangement with a bunch of bass fills and stuff like that. You've got to, you've got to keep it. It's a structure. You've got to keep the structure. You can add those fills in there, but they've got to be consistent throughout the the melody, <coughs> and they've got to stay in tact with that particular arrangement. You can't just be throwing fills in there left and right that just don't um, make sense. Just um, you've got to lay down the line and just play the play the basics and you know keep keep with the with the arrangement. Not don't just go out there on your own and hear nothing but the bass line. You wanna you wanna hear the band or something. You're bringing this together. You're making it a whole. You know it's not um. It's not everyone for themselves. You're doing it for their arrangement, so you keep it simple. You lay down the line, and then you add, you add character or colors as as the tune calls for it or needs it. So that's number one. Keep it simple. More basis. Just just do what our priority is to, you know, keep the structure there. And um, number three is um, outline the chords. You've got the chord progression going by. Outline the notes in each chord. You see an A major chord. You know you're going to go to A, C sharp, and you can throw that um that E in there. That's you know typically the the fifths are work well in adding the colors and then when you in adding character, but then you can add the color with the thirds and the sevens. They kind of help push the bass line around. So. You know, add, you know, outline the chord chords in each in the progression, but still playing those those roots. You've got to land those roots, not necessarily on one, but as you begin, as you're starting out as a bassist, you want to, um, you definitely want to reiterate that to yourself that roots are our job. So you want to go ahead and hit those roots on one. But as you progress as a bassist, you can, you don't have to necessarily play those roots. You've got to hit those notes in that particular chord, though, that can define that um, that chord. And everybody, this, and then the arrangement still moves along as it's supposed to. It doesn't feel like it's moving somewhere else because you're playing thirds where you should be playing um, the root note, and it just doesn't fit well. So I definitely outline the chord progression and. Um, hit the chords, you know, the notes of the chord and, <clears throat> and make that work, you know, a little like I say before, passing tones, there's a one, four, five, you can you can, you know, little 
little leading tones that push you into the root note is what um you can work on um, that helps add a little bit to it and not too much like i say you don't want to do too much unless it calls for it and it's there's room for it and you do it tastefully you've that's that's the only way it's going to work so if you do it tastefully and it fits in maybe take the melody of the arrangement you're doing and embellish that a little bit in your lines where it's calling for it not just anywhere it's where it's calling for it so so yeah that's that's number two you know outline the chords and um number three is you know take there's been somebody that's influenced you to play bass somebody that's influenced you to want to play bass so take their lines you know dissect their lines and everybody's got their own style and even if it's similar to another one it's still their own style that's one thing about playing any instrument you you can create this thing it's all custom it's all custom anything you can do anything nothing there's no rules that says you can't do that it's what you like you know if you like playing something that's out of tune out of, it's what you like but it's not I'm not you're not going to get a lot of work if you're playing you know if you're being, going to be hard-headed and just play what you want to play you're not going to get a lot of work there's not you know there's not a lot of room for that out there you've got to um, you've got to fit in and you got to um, you got to be able to fit in. You can still do what you want on your own, but if you want to work and you know make this a living, then you're going to have to, you know, just lay back and do what needs to be done. You know, <clears throat> you're not trying to um, create everything. Sometimes you've got to follow what this. There's got to be one creator, and then the rest, everybody else works together to get that creator's idea together. So, so that's what you got to do. But take your influences, and you know take one at a time just break down what lines you like most they have and just learn their stuff and that will um regard inevitably you will you'll find yourself just by listening to that and you in your lines that you're writing you'll hear similarities to the influences you had regardless there's there's no way around it they're they're your influence they're in your subconscious and that's you know they're going to come out even when even if you didn't sit down and learn that bass line, you're going to hear something. That sounds like, you know, the Beatles or something. That's That sounds like this or that. So you're going to you're gonna see it regardless. So it's not like you're copying their lines. But learn their lines, and then you can add, you know, you can embellish their lines and put it into your own arrangements or whatever you're writing, if you are writing anything. And, and it will all... Um, it's one way to do it. You can see where they're using minor ninths or, or anything like that. You can see, oh, well, that's what that is. And now you know that whenever you're in that key, you can do that major sixth or whatever, that eleventh. So you'll know then that, hey, I like that sound and I can use that here and there. So it comes with experience, whatever, whatever your... Um, experiences is where it's going to come in but just work at it and um and that is that's it so that's top three tips you know keep it simple first of all we're bass players we're bassists we just we got to keep the basics there we've got to keep it simple and um outline the chords chord progression the chords outline the chords as they progress in the song and you know pick up from your influences Take your influences and learn what they know, and and then that's where you're gonna go. And just realize that over, it's gonna come in time. It's not um, it's not something that's gonna happen overnight. You can work hard at it, and you can get, you can sit down and figure out one of your song, your favorites, one of their favorite bass lines, and work at it. And you can have that song overnight. But you know, to incorporate that into your own style, it's gonna take a little time, and um, that's what. You know that's what we work hard for and that's when you get the biggest reward is you realize that this will come in time and that you just keep plugging away at it and it it definitely comes in time so enough said i've got a little um baseline here and like i said go ahead subscribe down here comment let me know your thoughts on it and um definitely it helps me help y'all and that's what we want to do here i want to you know i'd love Nothing makes me feel better than seeing uh, an aspiring, helping an aspiring bassist um, become a bassist. So that's that's more rewarding to me than any anything else. So I just want to, or help me help you. So that is that's my goal here. So here's a little baseline. If you want to want the 
transcription, just comment below and I can, um, I'll work that up and send that to you. But all right, I've just got it going right now. All right, let me get this bad boy. It's 170. Mm -hmm. 